drive that's in that position in the field as Tettleton bobbles the snap, throws it up for grabs. It's caught! Inside the 10 is Landon Smith. Touchdown, Ohio! Goal. And he'll take off and dive over the top. Touchdown! The line judge came in and said he got across. Touchdown, Ohio. And the Bobcats lead it for the first time. Tettled into the air. Floats it to the back of the end zone. Caught. Dante Foster, touchdown. Just no matter what happens on the field. And there it is. Tettleton takes a knee. Huge win for Ohio. And a difficult loss for Penn State. <laughs> Winning has time again, that veteran offensive line, and that's a catch. And a touchdown. This is 12th year. He also coached at Lehigh and Elon. And here's a pass, and that's Smith. Throws it to Winning, who makes Another third down for the Cardinals. Winning over the middle, and it's caught. Win it for Bowl State. Shots, field goal is up. And good, and the Ball State Cardinals on the final. Chippewas driving again. Play action for Radcliffe. Looking deep, looking for the end zone. All alone, touchdown, Titus Davis again. Trailing by eight with 50 seconds to go. Radcliffe sets, throws. It is caught by Davis, and he'll walk in for the touchdown. Yes, they will. The kick goes 10 yards, and it's recovered by the Chippewas. High snap, Harmon's kick is good! With three seconds to go, Harmon kicks a career-long 47-yard field goal. Down and 10, the Huskies on the move here. Lynch, play action, plenty of time to pass. Wants Tommy Lee Lewis, touchdown Huskies. Down and seven, fake the inside give. Plenty of time for Lynch, steps into one. Brown is wide open. Touchdown, Huskies. Never a doubt for Sims right down the middle. Four seconds left, and Northern Illinois leads by three. Only three non-AQ unbeatens left. To the end zone for Brown. Touchdown. So far, that has not been the case. Lynch. Another spin move in the backfield to the end zone, caught! And the boot from the Boilers. And returnable here for Tommy Lee Lewis, and he's got a huge hole out across the 30 with the punter to beat across midfield. Tommy Lee Lewis, three career kickoff returns for touchdowns and make it number four, 99. Fourth and one for Northern Illinois, and they'll go for it, and they'll throw for it, and they will score on it. Little slant pass complete, touchdown! Duran Brown got in there! Hare wants a bunch, throw it into the side, caught! This is gonna be a touchdown! Wow, what a play, Duran Brown! Third down and goal. Power football, they keep it with the quarterback, and Hare has had a magnificent second half. He's staring in the face of losing nine of ten games, dating back to last year. Green, touchdown! Nice job. Off play action, going for Burbank in the end zone, he's got it, he's in, touchdown! it in to try to win it before attempting 
a field goal to send it to overtime in the end zone. He got a touchdown. Roger Lewis in the corner. And Bowling Green goes in front with nine seconds left. Up for grabs. Knocked down. on second and goal. Matt Johnson with the pump fake over the middle. Perfect! It's a touchdown for Burbank. Hard passing games for Matt Johnson. Put some air on this one, looking for Lewis. Fights his way free. Touchdown! Roger Lewis. On third and seven. They fake the fly sweep. Johnson over the middle here. Perfectly on time. It's going to be a touchdown for Robbie Rhodes. A backbreaker from Matt Johnson. Non-conference early season schedule. Dieter opens up and bullseye. Matt Johnson to Garrick Dieter for the touchdown. Tight end come down the lane. Picks up a big first down. And Green now fights his way inside the five and into the end zone. Travis Green, his second touchdown of the year. 29 through the air, 243 yards. They keep it on the ground, and the second time that Donovan Wilson has crashed into the end zone. And Bowling Green takes advantage of nine attempts per game. He's thrown it 51 times today, and on his 52nd pass, it's complete. And it's complete to Ronnie Moore. The football inside the red zone. And the running back is green, and he's into the end zone, and the Falcons have the lead with nine seconds to play. We're very close. They have been very close today. Nine seconds to make something happen, and he'll be picked off. So his perfect day really will end. Trying to make something out of nothing. And Dino Babers will get the win here in West Lafayette. It's Bogan. Hit. Second effort, touchdown. Touchdown. Jamari Bogan. And down a point, three minutes to play. Thorson on a design run. And ball comes out. Still loose. Northwestern says they've got it in the end zone. There are a couple of flags down. And the officials are talking about what just happened. Disputable video evidence was not found. The fact that there was a fumble and it was so close, clearly not enough evidence to overturn the call. Leads to a Western Michigan Second huge minute. victory here this afternoon. Western Michigan rowing the boat, rowing the boat. Jamari Bogan rowing the boat. 100 yards and two scores. Illinois was in a lot of trouble after that. Javarian Franklin, yeah, 34 to 10. The Illini go down at home. He's to the left of Roback. All kinds of time to the corner. It's caught. Touchdown Eagles on their opening drive. Antoine Porter. Eastern Michigan the lead. And the Eagles with 10-13 to go in the ball game. On third and three. Bolin. Intercepted. Bowling going back the other way. Will they chase him down? Cody Hoying taken down inside the five. Second down and three. They were sitting on it and it's picked off. Northern Illinois comes away. It's Shawan Lurie, the All-America candidate for the Huskies. Mm. Mm. He come around screen. Third and nine. Ooh. Intercepted again off the pressure. This one taken away by Jawan Johnson. Another pick six. Huff is the lone setback. He carries the mail. He totes it in for a touchdown. What an answer. Big time response from Northern Illinois. Kills the tackle. Fourth and 14. They, they, they know it's they're throwing the football. This is the game, uh -oh. and it's picked off on fourth and 14. Corcoran comes away with it. And Northern Illinois is on the doorstep of conquering the Big Ten again.
magnificent Mid-American Conference team for a long time, and they've earned this. This is a wonderful moment in the history of Northern Illinois University, and good for Rod Carey and staff.